Now, one of the most important jobs as a designer or as a UI designer is to match some really, really powerful fonts to really drive home the message of what your brand or what your client is trying to achieve. And there's no really better way to do that than with some really trendy fonts. But sometimes it's almost impossible to find a new font that you haven't seen before or a font that isn't already overused, like something like Roboto or Montserrat or Arial, something like that, right? They're all really, really overused. And sometimes it's just hard to find new ones that actually work with the project that you're trying to complete. So that's one of the tasks as a designer, right? How do you find a really good font that is probably cheap for your client or for you and it hasn't been really overused already by the general public, by people on Google fonts, people on Adobe fonts, things like that, where they're easily and readily available. In this video, I'm going to show you three tools that you can use on all of your projects, whether it's a UI project, a design project, packaging, anything like that, even logos, right? These are all amazing typography packages or websites that you can use right now. So let's get into it. Now, when we talk about fonts and font pairings, the first thing that we're going to try to think about is something like Google fonts, right? Or dafonts.com if you used to use that way back in the day. We've got something like Google fonts here, but the issue is, and you can search through different categories, through different languages, properties, right? Different thicknesses, things like that. But the difference is that right here, you can't really see these fonts in action. You can't really see them as actual fonts on a website. And one really, really great way to do that is with this website here. It's called fontsinthewild.com. And if you can imagine what the name means, right? It's something along the lines of having really cool fonts that you can use and buy, but they're pretty much in the wild. So they're used in real life by fontsinthewild.com and they kind of create these mockups so you can see what these fonts actually look like. Because when you have something like Google Fonts, there is really no background. There's no image behind it. You can't really visualize what this font is actually going to look like on your project before you download it or activate it, right? So what this website does is it showcases a lot of Google Fonts and Adobe Fonts and also some free fonts that you can use for your projects. Now, there are some paid fonts here as well, but I think that's it's kind of the, the handoff here, right? You need to have some free ones and also some paid ones. So let's try to find an example here, right? If we scroll all the way down here to maybe GT Alpina or Pitch Sans by Sixpenny. So here we've got two paid fonts that we've got. We've got GT Alpina and then Pitch Sans. So I'm guessing this one's GT Alpina and then this one's going to be Pitch Sans. I don't really know, right? But the point is that you see all these new fonts in context and you see them in the wild and you see how they can be used for your projects and different with different gradients, different colors, things like that. Like this one, for example, it's completely different. And I'm sure that if I saw this in Google fonts compared to here, I would think that it's a super boring font, right? But then with this example and this, these colors, you see in a different light. And that's the beauty of this, right? Now let's check out the second tool that I'm going to showcase here. This one's called fontjoy.com. And the beauty of this is that you can find new fonts and new font pairings just by clicking a button. So if you click generate, you're going to see that the screen or the UI showcases a brand new showcase of fonts. Now, once you've found a font that you really like. So say, for example, I really like Meriwether. I lock that font, I click generate again, and then it'll generate new fonts based on the pairing that I like. So it'll be based on Meriwether, the, the body text font, right? And so now it creates these new fonts for me, Bitter and Playfair Display SC. And now I can now download these or pay for them or buy them or whatever it is. But now I know that these are some really good fonts that you can pair with, right? Another use case for this is I can go in here and I can search for a different A or a different style that I really like and something that I want to use. So say, for example, I think that this A is really, really cool. Then it brings in the entire font and it kind of places it in there for me. So say now that I want to use this font as my main pairing font, then I'll lock that and it'll then generate a new font pairing for me. So we see what that came up with there, right? Now, these fonts aren't always amazing and they're not always perfect for maybe your project, but it's just a good thing to keep in mind when you want to get a new, fresh set of eyes on your project and on what font you want to use. So you can always just pick out the font that you're already using and try to pair them here. Before we move on to the third tool, I recommend that you guys subscribe to the channel and also like this video so that I know that you enjoy this video. Let's check out the third tool that I use almost every day in all my design projects. Now, this is a plugin or a Chrome extension that I've already showcased before in one of my videos, but I'll showcase it again because it's just that powerful. If you go over here to this little icon here, we click on it, it'll allow us to now hover over any font and it'll just tell us what the font is. So say, for example, we hover over this title here. So now it tells us that this font is actually Glossa Bold Regular. If we scroll over another one, it'll tell us that it's Glossa Medium Regular. If we go over another one, it'll say that it's Helvetica New, right? As we go through this entire site, we see what all the different fonts are and how we can use them for our advantage. If you're stuck on a website that you really, really like and you just can't seem to find what font they're using online or even through websites like Fonts in the Wild or anything like that and you can't really find it, then use what font to find the exact font that you want to use, right? All you have to do again is just hover over the exact type 
type that you want or the font or the paragraph and it'll tell you what font this website or this company uses for their project. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below so that I know that you guys like this kind of video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.